Good everyone, my name is Graphis. Today we want to analyze this question, which is an aspect of mechanical inertia science called statics. And the question goes like this. It says, a microphone of mass 750 gram is suspended at an angle of 25 degree to the vertical and pulled to the right by an horizontal cord. Calculate the tension in the wire holding the microphone and also what tension must be applied to maintain the horizontal cord to maintain the microphone in a stable position. Now, what we are looking for is this. We know very well that the data given, right, the data given, the first one here is the mass. And the mass of the microphone is given as what? 700 and what? 50 gram. Now converting to kilogram, we need to divide by 1000. And that will give us what? 0 0.75 kilogram. Now if I want to convert this mass into a weight, I will say that my weight is equal to what? mass times gravity right so the weight here now will now be the weight here now will now be our mass which is given as um, 0 0.75 and let's take our gravity to be 10 meter per second square now when you multiply both of them you'll be having your weight to be what 7.5 newton so it's acting downward as the weight right now the angle given is that it is inclined to the vertical and 25 degree to the vertical very important so what you do here is this if we want to we are told to calculate what the tension wire holding the microphone that is let's call the tension wire t1 we're looking for it let's say the force holding the force holding the microphone holding the microphone right then the next one number two it said what tension must be applied to maintain the horizontal cord let's call that t2 so t2 Let's call it the tension because force is the tension. The force holding the the what the horizontal cord, right? So the force that must be applied to the microphone in an horizontal direction. So the horizontal cord, right? Now let's now. Put this in a diagram. Let's assume we said a microphone of mass 750 grams suspended at an angle of 25 degrees to the vertical. When you say something is suspended, that means hanged on something, probably let's say a ceiling. So this is a ceiling. Let's assume it's a ceiling. Right? And it is suspended to the vertical. So let's take a point on the ceiling to make a vertical. So let's say this is not. This is south, and the horizontal is east and west. And this force is inclined to the vertical, right? This is the vertical here. And that point, let's say it is what? Zero degree. And it is moving this direction since it is inclined to the vertical, right? So if I come this way, from this point here, this will be our 25 degree, right? And let's assume that this is our microphone here. Is that again? The microphone will be acting downward this way because of the weight given as what? 7.5 Newton. Then it says an horizontal force is pulling it. That's a tension like this. Let's call it T2 because the T2 is the is force holding the horizontal cord t2 we don't know and we know that t1 is the force holding the microphone to the ceiling calculate the tension 
and the wire holding the microphone. What is holding the microphone? The tension here is holding the microphone here. So let's call it C1. Right? So this is what we are having. This is what we've analyzed, we've brought out. So this guy here you see is the microphone. Right? So this is what we have analyzed. So if I want to put this in my in a better diagram here, I will say okay. I will have something like this. I will have something like this. This is my horizontal force. And it kind of force coming in this direction. Another one coming here. Another one coming down here. So this point here is my microphone here, right? Now, if this is 25 degree, if I draw my four cardinal point at this point where the microphone is, this is north, this is south, this is west, and this is east, right? This point here also will be what? 25 degree. We already call it alternate angle. The angle here is equal to what? The angle here. And the distance, the angle between my north and east here, is what 90 degree so once you add not these two angles here we have in 100 and what 15 degree the angle if you move between north and west is what 90 if you move 25 from 90 you are going to be having 65 right and the angle between west and south here is what 90 so 60 plus 90 will give you 155 degree, right? And the angle between east and south, between these two, is what? Is 90, right? So we know our weight is giving us 7.5 Newton. Then this force here, let's call it T2. And the force here is giving us what? T1. So this is what we've analyzed. Now this particular question, you can use series of method to analyze it. But we're using Lamy's theorem to analyze this question here because we have three forces acting at a point. And the way I'm seeing it, they are in equilibrium because when you add 115 plus 155 plus 90, you'll be having 300 and what? 360. So, who's Lamy's theorem to what? To analyze this question. So, let me start by drawing this like this. I have this and I have this and I have this so this force acting downward my weight and that is a um, 7.5 Newton the force going here is called my T2 and the tension here is called what my T1 the total angle between T1 and T2 is giving us what 100 and what 15 degree the total angle between T1 and the weight here is giving us what? 155 degree. And the angle between T2 and the weight here is what? 90 degree. And we want to use what? Lamy's theorem to analyze this. Now, Lamy's theorem states that when three forces acting at a point are in equilibrium, then each force is proportional to the sign of the angle between the two other force. Now what it's telling us is that each force, when three forces acting at a point, this is the point in an equilibrium. How do you know an equilibrium? They must be summed to what? 360. When you add 115 plus 155 plus 90, we have a what? 300 and what? 60. So they are in equilibrium. Now each force is what? Proportional to the sign of the angle between two other force. Now this one force T1. It says that what it is proportional to what the sine of the angle between the two other force is what 90 equals to let's take t2 is proportional to what the sine of the angle between the two other force ib and that is 155 so sine what sine 155 equals to let's take t let's take w which is 7.5 so w is proportional to what sign of the angle between these two other and that is what 115.
to grey. So this is what Lamy's theorem is telling us about. So if we put our value, we we'll say that my t one all over my sine ninety is equals to t two all over sine one fifty five equals to the w is what given as what seven point five newton all over what sine one one five, right? So from here. We'll just take two of it. The two of it will be taken here. Will be either T1 and this because we can't take this two. We're having two unknown. So we can take T1 and 7.5. So calculating, you write calculating for what? For T1, tension one. Right? So we're having T1 all over sine 90. Is equals to what? 7.5 all over what? Sine 115. So if I make T1 the solution of the formula, I am going to be having T1 equals to 7.5 times sine 90 will come up here. Sine 90 all over what? Sine 115. So my T1 that will be. 8.275 newton that is t1 the tension there so because sine 90 is 1 so if you multiply this by this one divided by this you have this right that is for what the tension one a is gone then the next one is to calculate for what the force keeping this at in b here as in t2 so you write that calculating for t2 calculating for what? For T2, we have we take T2 and this. So it will give me T2 all over what? Sine 115 equals to what? 7.5 all over what? That is sine 155 over sine 115 degree. So my T2 here will now give me cos multiply. 7.5 sine 115 all over 7.5 sine 155 sorry all over sine 115 so if you multiply 7.5 sine 115 we have in 3.497 newton right so sine 0.5 sine 115 divided by sine 115 give it this so this is the tension 2 and we say the tension 2 is what is given as a the force that is main, that is making the microphone in a stable position right that is t2 why t1 is what the force holding the microphone that they came up so if you have benefited from this video don't forget to click on the subscribe button thanks for watching